And thanks for staying with us. Welcome back to Fox Weather First. Uh, and take a look at this. Fox Weather, your Hurricane HQ. This coming in from the UK. Look at the amount of waves crashing on the coast here. We've got some strong st storms, uh, really one storm, Curon, but slamming the coast. The UK and France also getting some ferocious winds. Rain, quite a bit of it coming down this morning, all fueled by that screaming jet stream over the northeast that we were just breaking down moments ago. You take a look at this and you're looking at the amount of moisture and the cold air in place. Now you see a big spin headed right toward London and now over Paris, that counterclockwise rotation there. This is a massive storm that intensified quickly. Sadly, as of 4.30 Eastern time in France, one person died. And at this hour, we're still talking about 1.2 million households that are without power over ports of Brittany and over into Normandy on red alert for strong winds as well. You take a look at some of these intense winds that have come through. These are max wind gusts, 129 miles per hour there in France to 121 mile per hour winds. These are going to do some damage, keep the power down for some time. And remember, they can't work on the power until the winds die down. 91 miles per hour to 129 miles per hour. Take a look at the wind gust forecast as we go into Friday. And remember, you've got some strong winds coming in out of the south, southwest. A lot of that banking up against some of those southwesting uh, beaches and slopes. Quite a bit of gusts. And look at the reds that you see there. You're going to see wind gusts 40, 50 miles per hour, perhaps even stronger as we go into the evening hours. Most of them coming in from the northwest. We're looking at Plymouth, England, gusting to 29, 30 miles per hour or so as we go for several hours. This is going to be through 4 o'clock uh, local time there. Once we get to the evening hours, we've still got some strong winds. Center of circulation doesn't move very much much to the north you go, some snow in the higher elevations, but a lot of the rain continues to move into portions like Portugal, down and through Spain. Then you've got that uh, big surge of moisture continues to ramp on in, will cause some localized flooding. You think about the mountain ranges in and around the entire area here, squeezing out quite a bit of moisture. How much? Well, plenty, especially close to those West facing slopes spread. You're easily talking up to three inches of rain, places like Portugal, into Spain and across Paris as well. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.